So just got these panels off the picking place. Whole bunch of little demon seeds on here. This is all uh, City Nun solder paste. Just inspecting them uh, before they go into reflow. They're looking good. So I'm actually going to throw these in the oven while we work on the programmer. It's actually a modified uh, toaster oven here. The Controlio 3 uh, thermal controller. Cool. All right, so what did we do last time? We All we really accomplished was uh, assembly one of these pogo jigs. Now, what do we do with it? We're gonna get that USB ASP out with the cable on it. There will be an adapter as well. It's keyed, so it only fits on that cable one way. That's what we're doing. USB ASP over here, cable, adapter. It's a 10 pin to six pin ISP adapter. In system programming or in circuit programming uh, is what that stands for. So if we look at our 10 to six pin adapter here and our pogo jig, this is the 10 pin side, this is the six pin side. The six pin side goes to our pogo adapter. We just wanna make sure those line up. So if you see right here, got VCC five volt, mossy, ground. And on this side, we're gonna see the MISO, it lines up there, source clock, or reset. So, it goes like this. And then you're gonna see ground, mossy, VCC, five volt. Other side, reset, source clock, MISO. So this is now lined up and we have our pogo jig ready to go. Hey, this is done. Let's check this out. It's hot. Can't check it out yet. Now it's time to pull out one of our demon seeds. This is a bad demon seed. Now I'm out. Luckily, got a few that just came out of the oven. This is a panel. Got a... 80 individual demon seeds on this panel. All right, put these over here. There we go, fresh demon seed right out of the oven. So as I was mentioning, the pogo pads on here, the circular little dots, are the programming pads, effectively, that this pogo jig interfaces with. Um, if you pull out a lot of circuit boards and look, you're gonna find similar pads on the board for interfacing with uh, debugging, programming interfaces. Uh, there, there's a lot of different ways of hooking into these uh, programming pads. You can solder to them, you can, you can do a lot of things. You can little, use little crane arms to touch them. Um, but when you have a consistent and repeatable interface that you're gonna to be touching, it makes sense to have something that's a little more locked in like this. So what do we do? First, uh, we're gonna make sure that we have AVR Dude installed. So there will be a link Follow that if you're not familiar with AVR Dude. Once you have AVR Dude set up, you'll want to download the custom Demon Seed bootloader. Link will be in the description. Once you have that and AVR Dude set up, we can start programming this. So I've downloaded Demon Seed.hex over here. So I'm going to go into my terminal here. And I'm going to go into the directory that I have downloaded the demonc.hex file. 
Then what we're gonna wanna do, it's right here. So AVR dude, command line tool for the initial flashing of the bootloader here. Got this command here. It's we're telling it to use the USB ASP programmer. The chip will be the AT8085. We're gonna flash it. We're gonna flash it with the demonc.hex file. And there's some flags here for fuse bit settings. We'll get into that later. So for now, just use what is in the uh, instructions here what's on my screen or in the instructions in the notes below. So what we're doing here is we're gonna flash this. So we have our USB-S plugged into the computer, cable, pogo jig, and the adapter. And we have our AVR dude command ready to roll. Now, we just need to make connection with the demon seed. There we go. So the tips of these pogo pins, the two that line up with the pads that have holes in them, you're gonna kind of snap in there, press down so that there's no gaps between some of these pins and the board, because here you can kind of see not all of them touch until I've pressed down significantly. So we've got this connected. We're gonna hold this down and run our AVR dude command. So that's a successful program. Let's look through that real quick. So it reads it, writes, you can ignore the warnings here, so I'm gonna read that file. I'm gonna write it. It's gonna verify it. And then it's gonna write the fuses. So low fuses and verify it. High fuses, verify it. E fuses, verified. And then it's gonna give you a summary right here. Fuse is okay. Now, here's another error you can kind of get into. So it's okay to run this multiple times. <clears throat> it's not gonna hurt anything. So what can happen here is, I'm gonna try to induce the failure. All right, so what I did to induce this was to lift the, lift a portion of the pins off while it was in, in motion here. So. Yeah, it's gonna give you a verification failure. Um, sometimes you'll get the fuse change error. Just rerun it, basically. All of these errors are fine. Just means it didn't work. So, to here, you can uh, control C to break out of it, run it again, until you get this. And if this uh, level of coordination is just obnoxious to you, uh, go ahead and wrap this if you're on uh, Linux or OS X in a while loop. It's gonna make it a lot easier. Uh, you can do this in a batch file on Windows, but all I'm doing here is repeatedly running this every four seconds. And now it's gonna make it a lot easier to let that run in the background while I maneuver the pogo jig. Do this, and then there it goes. And then you just wanna make sure you take it off in between runs, because if you're gonna take it off while it's programming, um, it's gonna potentially create issues. So. Uh, at this point, we're now ready to put the demon seed onto a connector.